What's going on, y'all? Welcome to episode 30 of the Obed Vargas Career Mode. We are really blazing through this thing. We are 20 years old and 95 overall, and it's Man City versus Bournemouth, AFC Bournemouth, in the final at Wembley Stadium. I think this is our second game at Wembley Stadium, if I'm not mistaken, but our first final at Wembley Stadium, I, I, I do believe, uh, FA Cup. Here we go, this is episode of Finals, just as I promised in episode 29, where we finally came back to life after sucking during episode 28. Uh, if this is your first episode you're ever watching of me or uh, of this series, go back to episode one. There's a playlist on my channel. There's a lot that's happened. We've sucked. We've come back. We've sucked again. It's been up and down, up and down. But all the while, we have been growing into one of the best footballers on the planet Earth. I do think we might be the best player in the game right now. That's a comment about Vargas, not about me, by the way. <laughs> oh, he played a beautiful ball in there. But I just could not get the angle around my guy. And, but speaking of, I just let my guy almost score a goal. That was dangerous, and that was a big mistake from Vargas. Hopefully, coach doesn't punish him for that. That was just that was just disgusting, and not in a uh, and not in the way that we usually use the word disgusting. You know, like a positive way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my guy's making his move in again. Bournemouth is coming out attacking. And oh no! And they're going to go up one to nothing at Wembley Stadium. AFC Bournemouth up one to nothing. Dango Ulatara? Dango Ulatara. I, I don't even care to pronounce your name right because I'm mad at you. Why did you do that to us? Oh, nice little move, able to... Oh, Vargas with a little moment of magic there. And, a tidy tackle. Uh, and then he gives it away. The center defensive mid-man. Center defensive mid-man? I guess is how you would say that. Not having a sharp game. Definitely showing some skill, but... You can switch this. Nice. And we're going to play our boy Holland through. Can he beat the goalkeeper to the ball? And he just gets there at the same time. And, you know, when that happens, goalkeeper almost always, probably 50% of the time, comes away with it. Can we rip one? We're going to get a shot off. And it's really not that far away. The goalkeeper sure seemed confident about it. But, I mean, it was over the bar. It was 100% going over the entire time. But... You know, if I was a goalkeeper, I think I'd be a little more concerned about it because he didn't even, he didn't even flinch. I guess that goalkeeper has the power of a uh, an AI behind him. So, well, when the man who scored the first goal for Bournemouth once again getting a shot off. See if we can keep this ball moving fast, boys. They were number 15 in the midfield multiple times today that stopped up one of my runs just by putting a good shoulder on me. Vargas, the player, so far in this... Oh, it almost makes it two. Man City is really down in this game, really not showing out like I expected us to against Bournemouth. No offense to Bournemouth, but it doesn't seem like the most valiant opponent Play me in. Good ball. Oh. I thought it was me who was offsides, but it was Phil Foden who was offsides instead. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was on goal. But yeah, no offense to, to, to Bournemouth, but I, I, I did expect a little bit different of an opponent. And hopefully we can start changing our destiny right there no no oh it's halftime and we could have tied it up right before halftime we just took an extra touch we didn't trust our finishing ability 
We wanted to see the open goal. Hmm. Okay, so real quick before I start this back up, I have a lot of finals to get through in this episode, and I really want to move. We got to do better. This is. Second half is underway here. We have a lot on the line in this episode. We have to make sure that this is a good, good, solid run of form here for this last month of the season. I think I think we're playing Real Madrid in the Champions League final, by the way. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? Play that out in front of me, Pedri. Wasn't the best positioning. I'm not going to blame it all on you, but but still. It's at least 50% your fault. Surely it's 50% your fault. Holland. You might have to do this one by yourself, Holland. Or play it back to me. Oh, no. Play it to my feet. Oh, this is painful. This is absolutely just painful to be a part of. Please, 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 please stop that guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why? Why why, why not just play it to our feet? We, we totally are outclassing this team. We, we, we totally have more talent. Let's just pass the ball, put the ball at our our, uh, our teammates' feet. Find me in behind. Holland, make a run. Make a... Oh, no, he made a run, and I just played it right to the guy. I want to blame it on somebody, but it was my fault. This has just been a game of figuring out who made what mistake. And thank God our goalie, for the most part, has not made any. Because he has given us a chance. Just kept us in the game. Holland, find yourself free a little bit there. Ripped it! And it's a goal! Pedri puts the ball in the back of the net. And that is... Oh my gosh. That feels so good. And I don't know... Oh, Foden's going to get the assist for that. I'm a little annoyed about that. I want the assist. But surely, we still get rewarded on our match rating. Creating that opportunity. And now, there is a chance. There is a chance for us to continue our dominating nature here in the last few minutes of this game. Oof, not like that we're not going to. Not like that we're not going Oh my gosh. Somehow our rating keeps going up though. That's just like two poor giveaways. We need to maintain our stamina here if we wish to make it through extra, uh, at extra time because it does seem like we're going to overtime. Overtime, that's the word I was looking for. It does definitely look like we're going to overtime at this point. Don't play it through the middle. I know I called for the ball, but there was only a short little window where it made sense. And I'm not asking for it anymore. Nice Holland right back. Right back, Holland. Oh, I wanted to play him over the top, but I, I, pressed, I pressed Y, but I forgot to hold LB. Okay. So, into overtime we go. Will our stamina hold up or will we be subbed out? I'm afraid we're looking at the ladder of those two. I might try to play this. Oof, thought that was us for a second. Okay. I might try to play this a little simple and have a really slow build up here. Dominate possession for the back half of this game. Oh, Holland was looking for me. I appreciate the attempt. I appreciate the idea. You, we were on the same page. Ooh. Oh, that's a yellow card. That might, that, that might be uh, a contributing factor if we get subbed out. I do think they'll want to keep us in. I do think they want to keep their, you know, their main guy in. Us and Holland. I can't imagine us getting subbed out. So, 
Now, hopefully that stays true. Nice interception from Vargas. Might have been more important than uh, it's, than it looked. Nice. Edwards. Edwards, play it back. Play it back. Nice. Ripped it from Vargas. Oh, it is no. The goalie saves it. Oh, my gosh. Dang. One-time shot from Vargas. Edwards plays it back. He really could have played it to me or Holland either way. Uh, I do think the goalie was just bound to save that one. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not his job defensively. Oh, Bournemouth. Dude, all number 11 had to do was turn up the field, and he would have been one-on-one -on -one with number 22. And he has proven to have plenty of speed. This team has outplayed themselves, has definitely played up to their opponent so far in this match. And uh, Foden and uh, uh, Foden's coming off. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm actually trying to think of the name of the other fellow who came off. Peron. Foden off. Peron off. Luckily, we are a deep squad. Man, this guy just can't keep up with my turns. <laughs> and oh, Holland almost bagged us an assist and a winning goal, which is probably the more important thing to focus on there. Overtime, very stressful few moments here. Right back to me. Oh, we tried to crank a shot up, and it wasn't the best idea. We tried to play it back to Edwards there, number 16, who we have uh, called the fast little guy. Many probably won too many times in his career mode. He's probably going to eventually see this. Or he's never going to see this, but he, <laughs> if he does, he's going to uh, have some th have some choice words for us. No! And Bournemouth, Bournemouth take the lead with one minute to go in overtime. And our hopes of winning a treble are over. Y'all... I think I'm sweating. Uh, that's how intense this is right now. Y'all, this is... Oh, it's so disappointing. Absolutely disappointing. Uh, and it's over. Yeah, there was, no, I mean, there was nothing we could do there. The, the, we're, we play, we're playing such short halves that a late goal like that is, is absolutely a winner. And us and Pedri were the only ones who really had good games there. Holland with a 6.1... I mean, what are you going to do when your best attacker, your prolific, like, all-time great attacker is not performing? You know, Manchester City drop 2-1 to one to AFC Bournemouth, and now we have to turn around and play Real Madrid in the final of the Champions League. How does that bode for us? Not well is the answer. Um... I'm a little down, I'll be honest with you. I had a decent game, uh, a, a rough, I caused an injury? I'm gonna visit the guy in the hospital if I cause an injury, you know? It's like if you're driving down the highway and some dude slams on his brakes and you can't stop in time and he ends up in the hospital, you go see the guy, you know what I mean? Why not? You're a good person. Commercial property. I haven't shown you guys much in the investment stuff recently. I've just I've been doing it off screen because it's kind of it's a little annoying. <laughs> you know, you have to press a lot of buttons and wait, and it's not a it's not a super smooth, fast graphic all the time. But I've basically been investing in anything uh, five hundred thousand dollars and up. The small stuff's just not worth my time at this point. Real quick, there's a, a look at the Premier League standings. We've been winning almost all of our Premier League games. Uh, Chelsea has surpassed the Spurs for first place, which is amazing because for a while there was a big gap between us and third place. It seemed like us and the Tottenham Spurs were going to 
Tottenham Hotspurs. I knew that sounded weird when I said Tottenham Spurs. Um, we're just going to run away with it. So, oh, we do have a match against Chelsea. Hey, I'm delighted to inform you that I've selected you to join the United States squad, which will take part in the upcoming FIFA World Cup. I can't stress enough how important this tournament is for our country. I hope you'll agree that it's an honor just to be called up to represent your country. I expect the very best from you and, of course, all of your teammates should you be selected to play. I look forward to having you join us for guards manager of the United States Football Association. Awesome. That's awesome. That I guess that'll be next episode. It'll be the World Cup. We'll make a big, long episode make it the World Cup episode. And then uh, we'll do a cliffhanger for the final because that's what we do on this channel. I do want to actually send this the slow way. Three to one. Tell me the Vargas scored in the eighth minute. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Vargas. I think we were subbed off for Peron. So let's take a look at the bench to see we had a 7.3 rating with a goal. Uh, okay. We must have uh, just been very tired. Saving us for that Chelsea matchup, which I think now is basically for the championship. This reminds me a lot. Oh, is this the last? Hold on. Is this the last match of the season? It's the last match. It is absolutely the last match of the season. But we can also see oh, we're in a oh US men's national team is in a group of France. Sweden, it looks like, and Croatia. That's tough, man. That's a tough group. That's a tie. We're looking for a tie here. A tie here and a win. That's, that's going to be really tough. But Chelsea, for the prim, this year, right here, I got to play this game, and then we're going to play Real Madrid for the... These are like two massive matches. This is for the Premier League, which is one of the biggest, most important things you can win in all of soccer. And then we're going to be playing for the Champions League, which is the biggest annual. And in the biggest event in all of sports, the FIFA World Cup in the next episode, this is a massive, massive, massive string of matches. <sighs> okay, let's do this thing. Let's play smart. This is ours to win. Minutes away we can't tie. No ties. We definitely can't lose. If we lose, we can drop in the third place, I do think. Bowden. Come on, man. Let's build this thing up. Keep building it up. Nice. Holland. Or Bowden, whoever gets the ball, I don't care. I was definitely looking for Holland there, but I thought it might, might, might have been the better option, so I'm fairly happy with where it went. Oh, that was nice. That was smooth. Beautiful passing so far. Vargas puts one on frame, but it's an absolutely weak sauce. Attempt. Hashtag. What's y'all's favorite uh, like saying to say something sucked? Toss it in the comments. Load those comments up. It helps get my stuff seen whenever there's a lot of comments. So I appreciate it. It helps the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Chelsea looking sharp. We're also looking sharp. This is the kind of match you want for the uh, with the Premier League on the line. Oh, oh my gosh. Play me in. Play me in. Vargas with an opportunity. It's a goal. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. The Alex Morgan sip of tea. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Wow. Possibly the most important goal. 20 goals in 37 matches. Possibly the most important goal of our career so far, for sure. We're going to have a lot of opportunities to say that exact thing in the next string of games that we have going on here. 
Nice, great interception from Vargas. Playing a really good game here, guys. Everybody is, our entire team. Holland. Play it back, Holland. Vargas with another shot off. Not quite as valiant of an attempt, but much better than the first one. And definitely one that was worth taking. Holland with a header, and it's two to nothing. And just like that, we're really looking like we're in a good position here. Definitely in pole position. All we have to do is defend it. We can defend it by attacking. We're not going to sit back, sit back at all. Um, but Holland with a winning the header off the set piece. Chelsea looking like they're losing this one. We have been. Honestly, I, I, I think we've been in second place, I feel like, in the Premier League this entire season. Just kind of not really popping out in the first at all, ever, that I can recall. So it's going to feel so good. It reminds me of Man City's season this year, you know, where they were kind of, you know, right there, right there at it, but... It took beating Arsenal at the end of the season to make it really happen. Oh, I had the space. I had the I had the chance there. That was a great ball from Holland. I didn't see it. I wasn't on the same page as him. And uh, that really made that made that mess up. Or made me mess up there. Great great job from Holland to hold up, find the ball, play me in. I just screwed it up. I didn't see what he was looking at. Put me on the prayer list at church. Maybe I won't make that up. Maybe I won't make that same mistake next time. In halftime, here we are. Vargas in the 20th. Holland in the 38th. Whew. It's been exhilarating so far. This is for the Prem. They want me to clear the ball two times. I, I think I'm just going to keep it on the ground. I don't ever really find myself in a situation where I feel like I need to clear the ball. Although that was my guy. That was the guy I should have been on right there. Nice little ball through. Oh, and he plays it back. Oh, Pedri was... What was Pedri doing? There was so much space in the center. I think he was trying to create the space for... He was creating space by, by running away, but nobody was checking into it. So it, it, it doesn't do anything. And I wasn't going to be getting around my guy. But of course, I was the guy who played the ball, so. So if I saw all that and still played the ball, it's my fault. <laughs> so, there we go. Very timely interception. Ooh, what tackle was that? Come on now. Here we are. Man City pushing up the field. Holland should be close to on. Or he's going to find us on. And we're going to give it to our teammate, Pedri, who's going to put it in the back of the net. That was, oh, I should have took that 100%. But somehow we lucked out. I went for the assist. I went for the unselfish. By, by trying to be unselfish, I actually complicated things. But Pedri. Hmm. Pedri was able to put that. I, I, I kind of feel bad about that. Like, look at this. I usually just could. I, I should have just shot that. I should have just buried it. Bottom left-hand corner. But instead, I set Pedri up for a very difficult volley. Where he had a really small window. And he actually had to uh, nutmeg somebody there. Frank Lampard, happy. Oh, no, upset. I'm sorry. Frank Lampard, really upset to uh, get that one scored against them. <clears throat> Vargas, once again. Vargas on goal. I think he's once again going to play the unselfish ball here. He's got two assists on the day. Now, that one made a lot more sense. That one made a whole lot more sense. <clears throat> Very nice. Phillips scores. 
really the one that's going to wrap this thing up. I mean, it's, it's been wrapped up for a few minutes now, but the one that's going to, like, just put the dagger in, absolutely deflate Chelsea, but then Chelsea just walks the ball up the field and scores a, an easy one, a pinda. Holland comes out, and we just got to wrap this thing up. It's 76 minute. Let's not give any more away, that's for sure. Oof. Who's in for Holland? I don't really know who our backup striker is, which is sad since I am the assist king. I would love an, another assist. I could. I'm not really sure what my numbers are like this season, but the record is 20. It's held by, let's see, it's held by Thierry Henry and De Bruyne. I think they're tied for, they both have 20. A, a season with 20. Lay it out to me, Pedri. Whoever is replacing Holland, I will play him on, and he's on goal. It does look like we're going to score another one. No. I wanted that so bad. And we're going to put another shot on goal. We could have made it 5 to 1. But it just wasn't meant to be. Put one in the box. It's around the backside. Decent ball, but just not good enough. And uh, we've won the Premier League, y'all. 9.2. And we have one more game that is just as important as that one. We are champions of the Premier League. And now we will become champions. If we win this next game, we will become champions of the UEFA Federation. I'm nervous for this one. I'm very nervous for this one. And on the other side of this is the World Cup. So uh, do me a favor and let me know what you think is going to happen in the World Cup. Drop it in the comments. How far is the U.S. men's national team going to go? This will be the first World Cup that Vargas is going to be playing in. And in real life, it's probably the 2026 World Cup is probably the first one that he'll play in. So I would love to see that happen. He'll be a young, Var uh, young Gio Reyna-esque player in that. And the Champions League final is underway. And we're going to put Holland in early. Who's going to take the shot? It's a goal. And we're up one to nothing before the third minute strikes. Two minutes and 40 seconds in. And Holland puts it in the back of the net off of a Vargas assist. And that right there, I might just, I know this is a Vargas career mode, but I might use that little image of Holland's face inches away from the camera. The lens of the camera and Vargas kind of hiding behind Holland, playing peekaboo. That might be. That might, if you look up, that might be the thumbnail. So, wow, we are in dominant form right now as a team, and uh, hopefully we can continue that as a player leading into the World Cup. It's super important. For us to do that, for us to continue playing at our best. And a wicked save. That shot didn't seem all that threatening, but it was in the end. Valverde stands over the corner and plays it inside. Yoto was his target. Vinicius Jr. with the ball. Cannot let him have much space. We play Holland through. Holland is once again on goal. And he buries the second one and a second assist for Obed Vargas. 
I love that celebration, the walk through the ad board celebration and then walk back. It's like a apparition of sorts. Beautiful start to this game, 14 minutes and 55 seconds in. And Obed Vargas steals the ball again. And he's gonna take it himself this time. Oh, and it's just into the stands the entire way. The second it left his foot. The second it touched the lace of his shoe, there was no way that that ball was going in the back of the net. Well, plenty of media reports documenting the current situation as regards Karim Benzema, and the reports have been confirmed. He has decided to end what's been a brilliant career at the end of this season. A huge loss for the club, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, what a player he's been. And still oh, we thought Holland was making a different run than he was. He was looking to play a little hold-up play and get some more men forward. It's not a bad idea because it was a good five in the back there. Holland. Oof. Now we needed to play some hold up play there and we weren't able to. Definitely working to beat. That's the interesting thing. Coming from some of the other leagues, it's, it, it was really easy to, uh, to let our speed do the talking. You know, and now we, we can't do that, but there is something else we have, and it's the fact that we have world-class teammates. Every single one of our teammates are just absolutely world-class. And that helps the cause. Oh, ref. Come on, ref. What was that? It was absolutely a foul. It would have been a great free kick opportunity for us. And an odd ball there from, from Real Madrid. Play back to me. I have acres of space here. Holland could be a chance to break here. What was that? They, I guess it was, was that to me or Holland. I didn't call for that, so I don't know. Not sure. Not positive what that was. But it, I know what that was. That was half time. Holland in the third and the fifteenth, both assists from Vargas. Chatting it up with our boy Edwards who we've become very good friends with recently. Get a match rating of 7.5. I think I'm there. Avoid conceding more than one goal. Doing good with that so far and win. I think we're going to be doing all of those things. Two to nothing. 45 minutes played. 47 minutes total on our legs. In this battle for Champions League glory. There's something else we need to think of going into the World Cup. You know, we want to want to play a lot of soccer. We want to make sure we're in form and that we're in shape, but we don't want to be tired. So we want to be careful with our stamina here if we can, but we can't let up. Not on Real Madrid. Real Madrid is the perfect culprit to uh, bring to life the old saying that two to nothing is the hardest score to protect in soccer. It's the most dangerous score in soccer. In football. Oh, Holland, I was looking for you, my friend. And you do make the run in the end. Play it back. I have acres of space here. Acres of space. And we get the shot off, and it really tests the goalie. Whenever I went to make that shot, I, I, I honestly just thought I was... I was kind of hoping for the goalie to just have to parry it out back into the field, and maybe Holland or somebody could get a get a uh, rebound on that one but create some chaos wasn't feeling great about our attacking mojo there we just got stuffed definitely wasn't uh, i was hoping i was going to be able to power up before the ball even got to me but i wasn't clearly Oh, no. That was a good opportunity there. It was a great opportunity for another assist. 
it was just a waste of energy in the end. And uh, a really tight defense from Man City. I love it. I love it. Phil Foden making a wicked run. Phil Foden, try, bro, take a take a take a touch. You were behind the defense. No need to try to play that off to Holland right there. Doesn't hurt anything to play it off to Holland in any situation. But right there, man, like that's 100%. And Vargas with a shot and saved once again. The goalie has our number on that one. Diago presented with a yellow card and uh, swiftly removed from the game. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at mm. bay. So right now we're sitting on a 7.8 match rating in this game, which is what I've been reduced to worrying about due to our dominance in this match so far. Um, I feel like I've, I've earned just a little bit better than that. I feel like I've definitely earned an, a, you know, an 8. An 8.2, 8.3. I mean, Holland's got to be the man of the match here. I think I've been so involved in every facet. But you know what could change that? It's one more opportunity. Holland, can you put it in? And it's just, it's, it is a hat trick of goal contributions from Obed Vargas and a hat trick for Holland. And uh, very soon here, we will be celebrating a Champions League championship. And just like that, we're gonna let this play out. We're gonna enjoy this moment. Look at the fans. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Finals. We, we lost the final of the FA Cup. We won the Premier League, and now we've won the Champions League. We did not complete the treble, but we were so, 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 so close. We were lost to Bournemouth away, which is sad. But next episode, we have the FIFA World Cup. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to share those moments with you. Let's see the trophy lift, and then we'll end this episode. Phil Foden walking up onto the podium. Holland, Pedri. Who will be the lifter of the trophy? Ruben. Yeah, it looks like it'll be him. Captain of the Man City squad that just wrapped up a double. <laughs> and there we go. Vargas, Ruben, Holland, Pedri all jumping up and down celebrating. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like. Drop a comment. A uh, couple different questions to ask you this episode. So make sure you're tossing out some answers for me and uh, i love you guys peace out hope you enjoyed this episode next episode is bound to be more exciting uh, than this one which was super exciting la porte and uh, look at our boy running around with the trophy the confetti flying through the air peace. i'm gonna go buy some confetti throw it up in the air uh,